Smuggling weapons or food in and out of prison is not unheard of, but what about sperm? Some prisoners in Israel are allegedly smuggling their sperm outside of the prison walls to impregnate their wives. Only six Palestinian women are claiming their children are products of sperm smuggling. Many of their husbands are serving long sentences, and in a country known for its conservative beliefs, women would face heavy scrutiny for going outside of their marriage. The Jewish Press reports one doctor said, we believe that this is a human right, especially as these prisoners are spending long sentences in prison and a woman's biological clock is short, so maybe when their husband comes out, she won't be able to have a child. But according to The Guardian, prison workers don't believe the alleged sperm smuggling is possible, not only because of the long trek visitors have to make to and from the prison relative to a short lifespan of sperm, but a prison spokesperson also said, We doubt that something like this, the smuggling of sperm, can be done because of the security and rules for visitors for Palestinian prisoners. We doubt anyone got pregnant this way. Some of those rules include visits are restricted to 45 minutes, no physical encounters of any kind between visitors and prisoners except for children under the age of 8, all communication happens between a glass wall, and men imprisoned for crimes of terror are not allowed conjugal visits. In a CNN interview, the doctor who is alleged to have artificially inseminated multiple women with smuggled sperm speaks out. How is it coming to you? A lot of things, many things, maybe in uh, cups, in uh, uh, ointment uh, containers. The doctor went on to say he does not question the women on how they obtain the sperm, but many of the patients prefer to keep it a secret as to not ruin it for the other women in the same situation. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.